has identified the cause of the mysterious new virus. Coronavirus. Many of our countries in Europe are now acting to flatten the, the curve epidemic. Views when talking about reducing the number of coronavirus cases. This is going to get worse before it gets better. You must stay at home. I feel like we learned a whole new job of like, how do you cancel a festival? Or how do you postpone a festival? How do you roll bands to another year? How do you communicate with your audience in a different way? In 2020 and 2021, it was like, completely different conversation going on about, please don't, please don't ask for refunds, you know, help us out. We did a crowdfunder. It's all like new stuff to us. My fear was that you'd set up all this stuff and then there'd be a change in the rules and then you suddenly can't go ahead and you've spent the money and then you're, you're in trouble, then you're going bust. So we couldn't risk it basically and it was the same in 2021. More than 2 billion COVID-19 vaccines administered worldwide. Halfway vaccinated. I'm getting the Moderna. AstraZeneca shot. vaccine. As millions get vaccinated, many reunions are happening around the country. We've all been through something collectively. It's been such a difficult time. This is phase two of the government research program, and the results that come back as part of this are hopefully then the unlocking for the summer music festival events to take place. We sat on our laptops for three years now, and like, now we're in a field, so yeah, it, it feels great. Two Thousand Trees is probably my favourite festival in the UK. I think for me and the way I listen to music and the way I enjoy festivals, it's like, it's not too big, but it's not too small. I think it sits perfectly in that space. There's no divide, eh? No, there isn't a divide. I don't think it's not cliquey. I yeah. feel like everyone's everyone's there for the one fucking reason, and it's just to enjoy new music and bands that they already know. Yeah. It's a really nice um, amalgamation of that, I think. And they always have a killer lineup. Everyone's always here for the music, and you know, you walk around, and uh, I feel like everyone's so like-minded here. Very chill vibes. It's great to see so many like-minded people together. There's loads of mates to hang out with, and it's just good vibes. So, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, I mean, I'm always blown away by just how diverse like the genres are. Like trees, you can't put a genre on it, um, and every band is just wicked. So literally, what we do after we'll do after this is get some more beers and just walk around and watch every band. Yeah. Just so. I like this festival because it's small and easy to get around. Um, it seems to be like a really nice community of people as well. It's like such a nice vibe and like... Yeah. There's, pe there's peaceful places as well and I love the forest. <laughs> it's big enough to book incredible artists but it's still very personable and feels very intimate and the people that come genuinely love music. When we drove in like pulled in and like everyone stopped to like go sit in. It's like on one side there was something that sounded acoustic and on the other side it was something like black metal. I was like, this is pretty cool. <laughs> you know, it's like, that'll do. Doing something like this, keeping the community base, keeping it, yeah, get involved with, you know, the, the TBD lot and uh, the Thrill Collins and the, the staple diets you have specifically for this festival. It's very, very cool. I think it's uh, a wonderful little special thing, and I think we, we need something like this. It's so much more of a great atmosphere than a lot of the bigger ones um, that I've been to. Um, as like a punter or as an artist, um, I think it's such a community spirit. Um, yeah, and it's just just really great place to be. I used to really love the lineups at Reading and Download and you know all those big rock festivals, but I didn't really like the vibe wasn't there. So we wanted to create like a nice like boutique festival vibe, but with good bands so yeah uh, in 2007 we just we didn't know anything about running festivals we just went for it and uh, here we are 15 years later and it's our it was like a hobby and now it's our job so it's a weird thing when festivals such as Reading and Leeds are kind of diluting the different sounds that they're bringing to a festival the fact that there's an amazing sort of rock, punk and metal festival here in the UK that's purely focused on that means that the community spirit's fucking awesome, so yeah. It's like a perfect size, like as a punter, like we've always kind of stayed and watched fans and stuff. 
and it's a really cool mix of new bands maybe we haven't heard of or the, maybe like a punter hasn't heard of and then they always have like one or two like legendary acts coming back or like big new bands we saw refused at the drive-in yeah. turnstile the last time we were here yeah thrice i guess are playing this year yeah it is, it's always it's wicked man at the drive-in played here like one of my favorite other bands so that's just like I was like, I was like up on stage taking photos of Omar's guitar just before they started. That's how much of a fan I am. He wasn't even there. I just like his guitars on the stand. And Shikari headlining the main stage is incredible. This weekend, I thought uh, Palm Reader on Wednesday were amazing. Um, and Pigs, Pigs, Pigs last night was also like just insane. The forest stage, you know, that little stage where um What's up? Is it Thrill Collins play there like every single year and they play the skiffle versions of those pop songs? I love that. I love that shit. Like, I mean, thrice playing Vizu in full. I don't think any other festival could pull that off other than Trees. So, uh, yeah, it's very much my kind of festival. If you look at the bands we've had over the years, like Creeper and like Black Peaks and even Turnstile, of like Turnstile have played 2000 Trees three years running, like slowly getting bigger. I think, I think it's really important. And then they'll go on to play Reading and you know, Hellfest and whatever else. 2000 Trees actually was uh, the first festival that we ever played as a band. Uh, and it was actually the first time I ever went to a festival. Um, so it was awesome to, I guess, like marry those two experiences together. This is the fifth? Fourth. Fourth, fourth time that we played it and we've always had a blast. I think we first played it when we, we were about 20, mid 20s. And now we're old as fuck and we're like early 30s. Yeah. And I have to say, I'm. It, doesn't depress me being back here. I feel really happy to be back here. It's a great place. I've been coming to this festival for, I'm not joking, like 11 years or something like that. I think I was working as a steward at like one of the first, like either the first or second trees, like as a teenager. It was amazing. It was the best job ever because they gave you a packed lunch. You sat on a gate and pointed cars for like three hours. And then you got a free festival ticket. Amazing. Like a few years back, I played the main stage of a van. Like it was a long time ago, actually. It's probably about 10 years ago and just to see how much it's grown in that time and like the community behind it is just something to behold, it's amazing. I think especially in this scene, like people want to see new music that they yeah. haven't heard and people are like really, really nice. And I think like that, both of those things combined into this festival particularly, it's really, really great. I was there like, first time playing 2000 Trees, hopefully not the last, it was really nice. Um, but like Ben said, like it, when you go to smaller festivals, there's definitely a much more like willingness to experience new music and you know I was looking out amongst the crowd it was packed out and it was like I saw a lot of I could hear Nova Twins yeah! in the distance <laughs> I was looking out amongst the crowd seeing a lot of Capiche fans but then I was also seeing people who were clearly hearing us for the first time so checking it out it was amazing it was really good really nice we, hope, we hope to come back please have us back Having a lineup that's so filled with people on the, that same wavelength, not necessarily genre-wise, but in terms of like ideology, is a you know a great place to like re-examine how you write and produce your own music. They platform smaller artists and artists that bigger corporate festivals may not pick up on or simply don't want to. I think it's a really varied lineup, and they actually put the effort in to make it a varied, inclusive lineup. Um, more so than other festivals. And I feel like there's something nice to seeing like your friends' bands play like a festival stage. Like if you're into that, I feel like that is kind of it's kind of a nice way to, for a band to present itself as well. And yeah, I guess a lot not many bands will get onto the big festivals, so it's cool that this is kind of the same setup but smaller, but still multiple stages. And yeah, it's great. It's great coming back. It's good to explore new and up and coming bands, especially in all the different tents. And they really, what's good is they give bands like us an opportunity and a platform, which is something we can only be entirely grateful for because I'm surprised we're even here to be honest. And it's our first festival, so yeah. it's a good, good one. A good one to yeah, start with. Yeah, 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 definitely. <laughs> the best of Britain comes out, is what happens here. And I think we should have more. In fact, I'm going to go into government and create more festivals like this and we'll put more money into that. I'm running for, I'm putting in right now, I'm running for Prime Minister and my my first act as Prime Minister will be to fund this uh, several times over. So we have at least one, one a week uh, from, from, from then on. So vote Smiley for President. The number of people that we see at shows and stuff that said like we saw you at Two Dozen Trees and stuff like that. We've um, stolen a lot of fans from him. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. And we'd like to, for, we'd like to sell many more. Long yeah. may it continue. So that's a warning. Yeah. I love it and I'm so grateful we get to play it so often. It's just one big fucking one musical big hug. hug. Love you, trees. <laughs> My number one thing is don't ruin it. Like, do not ruin it. Uh, remember what we, why we started it. It's because we didn't want to be like Reading. We, you know, so no, no plans to expand. I'm not saying we never will, but definitely no plans.